happy Sabbath, everyone. Um, so my name, uh, for those that don't know me, my name is Mago. Um, and like uh, Dr. Ed was uh, mentioning, it's my first time giving a children's story, and uh, I'm, I'm grateful to do that today for the kids. So today I'm going to start off by asking you children if uh, anyone has a uh, bad temper. Or, or can someone tell me what a bad temper is? No one? What's that? Beautiful definition. Yep. So <clears throat> today I'm going to be giving a story. It's titled The Fence Story. Can everyone hear me okay? Perfect. So there was once a young boy with a very bad temper. The boy's father wanted to teach him a lesson. So he gave him a bag of nails and told him that every time he lost his temper, he must hammer a nail into a wooden fence. On the first day of this lesson, the boy had driven 37 nails into the fence. He was really mad that day. Over the course of the next few weeks, the little boy began to control his anger, so the number of nails were hammered into the fence dramatically decreased. It wasn't long before the little boy discovered it was easier to hold his temper than to drive those nails into the fence. You guys with me so far? Then the day finally came when the little boy didn't lose his temper even once. And he became so proud of himself, he couldn't wait to tell his father. Pleased, his father suggested that he now pull out one nail for each day that he could hold his temper. Several weeks went by and the day finally came when the young boy was able to tell his father that all the nails were gone. Pretty cool, huh? So very gently, the father took his son by the hand and led him to the fence. The father said, you have done very well, my son. So the son smiled. But look at all the holes in the fence. The fence will never be the same. The little boy listened carefully as his father continued to speak and said, when you say things in anger, they leave a scar just like this one. And he pointed at the fence. You can put a knife in a man and draw it out. It won't matter how many times you say, I'm sorry. The wound is still there. The little boy then understood how powerful his father's words were. He looked up at his father and said, I hope you can forgive me, father, for the holes I put in you. Of course I can, said the father. So, being that that's the end of the story, like Cain, you guys know who Cain and Abel is in the, in the book, in the Bible? Like Cain, he's the one that wasn't so nice. And uh, he hurt his brother. But I put here, like Cain, we have the lion of anger within us. We must master it or it will master us. God has not said that we are never to be angry, but he has warned us of the danger uncontrolled anger and the Bible says in Ephesians 4 28 be angry and do not sin do not let the sun go down on your wrath and this is the this is the verse that I wrote down for you guys that that makes me understand that being angry is okay it's okay to be angry angry is a part of an emotion we have but it's never okay to be cruel. That's when we cross the line intentionally to be mean in a way that we shouldn't be mean. So it's okay to be angry, just not to cross the line and be cruel.
That's when we hurt people's feelings. So I wrote this verse down. It says in James chapter 1, verse 19 through 20. This you know, my beloved brethren, but everyone must be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. For the anger of man does not achieve the righteousness of God Almighty, the high, the most high. Thank you very much. I have some lollipops for you guys. <laughs>